So this here is my double piston drawbridge. As you can see when it's extended here, it's fully flat with the rest of the ground, no exposed redstone. Uh, push a button over here. Drops down two blocks. Push it again. And it comes all the way back up. And it's really simple, surprisingly enough. And it, it's all based on this contraption right here that I found on Reddit. Uh, forgive me, I don't remember the name of the person who came up with it, but basically all it is here is just a block, a torch, and another block next to a double piston, double sticky piston setup. So if you just take a look right here, you flip this lever back and forth, and it'll go through all of the motions you need right there on its own. Um, I couldn't really tell you exactly how it works. It seems to have something to do with uh, how the blocks are updated. But if you'll see in here, the whole setup that's underground there under the drawbridge, I've recreated here and expanded a bit for simplicity. So you can see the inner workings. It's just what I showed you before, expanded out to a 4x2 array. Now there's really nothing magical in this circuitry here either. It's basically when you turn it off, it turns the signal to the pistons off. And when you turn it on, it has to turn on, off, on in order to go through those other uh, cycles that the lever was taking it through before. So this just takes care of all of that. Now how I do that is I just run the signal here to a rising edge triggered monostable circuit which just has a delayed uh, blip here and that gets inverted and sent to an AND gate where it meets up with the original signal. So when that signal comes on this inverter is on and the signal goes through. Uh, then the monostable circuit triggers, briefly turns this off, which turns the output off, and then after the monostable circuit is done with, it, with its thing, turns that back on, and then the power resumes on. And as you can see over here, nothing terribly interesting about this. The only thing that might be confusing you is that I had to add these extra blocks on the side. And what was happening originally was that these two piston setups were not updating. So you would have a, a 2 by 3 setup that was coming up perfectly, but the end two were not coming up all the way. And when I put these blocks here, I guess when those blocks get power, it updates them in the right way. And then they go up. So, hopefully you'll be able to use this with uh, either your own drawbridge setup or a uh, gate setup to push one of these gates up and leave the floor completely flat with no evidence of uh, any redstone at all. And if you're curious as to how this is wired underground, I can certainly show you that as well. Uh, right here is the piston setup, and I have the redstone for it lying on the ground and this is powered by a torch below it and down here I have a T flip flop that I also found on reddit and also don't remember the name of the creator but it's extremely compact and useful so when the button input comes down to this it just runs through the same thing I was doing upstairs with a lever runs to this torch here and powers those pistons upstairs Pretty simple. Not much real estate taken up either. And uh, as a bonus here, I'd like to show you something. Now with this tiny T flip flop here, found something interesting. If you push the button while you're standing next to it, it automatically does that power sequence that I made that circuitry to do. Therefore all you have to do just push this button once, and 
it goes through all the cycles. But if you stand over here, far enough away from it, Okay, that's one cycle. See, it doesn't do that pulsing thing if you stand far enough away from it, which I find very interesting. Uh, I don't know if anybody's going to be able to use that, but that's something to take note of. So, that's about all there is to it. Double piston drawbridge, double piston array. Uh, feel free to use it in whatever you got. See ya.